Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. can always sniff out a boar. In the wild, they can. Oh, Sam, what's happened to my foxy instincts? I've gone soft in the suburbs. Too many snacks and nags. Hey, TV. You watch a lot of TV. Hello, furry huh? children. Who wants yum-yums? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam, your tail. It's missing. <laughs> Who's hungry? We gotta do something. <laughs> Honey, are you seeing this? Yes, dear. <laughs> wow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> my tail, my beautiful fat tail. Calm down. You still have your whiskers and your paws. But what happens if the living stones see? Well, worst case scenario, we get returned to the wild and eat dirt for the next 40 years. Huh? <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Relax, I'm kidding. Okay, they can't have gone far. This just requires a little detective work. <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Eugenie, Susie, start with the couch cushions. Research shows that's where 72% of missing household objects hide. Okay, that's where I would hide. Sam. Washington? Uh, uh what does Sam's tail look like again? Okay. Ooh. Is it a hot dog? A dead flower? I uh, know, oh, it's a U-turn. It's a tail. Sam's tail, long, blue, <laughs> covered with fur. Ah, boy, we'll get it. Sorry, Victoria. Uh, What's happened? Wow! Guess what, dear? I finally found the piano! Hey, Victoria, have you by any chance seen Sam's tail? Hmm? Mm, not at all. Come on, how about helping us look? Hmm, let me think. That sounds boring. Oh. No. Well, let's go for it, Sam! <laughs> Get it fluffy? No! Hey! At least we found it. Uh, Sam? <laughs> Sam! Wake up, man! But what if they figure out what it is? Well, then we're finished. Over. Our cover is blown. Which is why we have to get it back. 
No! You've gone soft! Lost your touch! Fallen off your game! Okay, Sam. I've still got a few slick tricks up this fur sleeve. Because, because the sun, sun is shining and it's a brand new day, day. And we're all so happy here. Back to the girls. They have to be less noisy than this. Oh. Uh -huh. mm. Okay, step one of Operation Tail. Infiltrate enemy territory. But before we get started, safety first. Mm -hmm. Hop on my back, Sam. Like a backpack? Are you sure? Yes. This is what ninjas do. Can I try it on? <laughs> Fluffy said not to give it to a soul. But Fluffy's not here, is she? She's eating. I could tie it around your neck. That's not giving it to a soul. I would love that. Oh, you could do this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this. Glad I thought of the trampoline. <laughs> okay, still not quite back to my old self. Nap time. <sighs> well, where is it? Sorry, Sam, it was a no-go. They really liked that tail. I was afraid of that, so I found a backup plan. Yeah? You know, with the stripes. <laughs> I don't think so. You sure? Totally. So unless you want to sleep on a pine cone pillow again, we're going to have to outsmart those cats. But Washington, you said you ah! got... Stop listening to me so much. It's somebody's bedtime. Okay, wait for me outside. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> a giant talking sock! <laughs> Wake me up! Sam, it's me. I am waking you up. It's time for Operation Tail Rescue, the sequel. Okay, jump on my back. Are you sure? Just go. Roll! My tail back. The elves will figure us out. You're allowed to sleep in this couch. Didn't you tell them they could stop looking? I thought you did. Girls, I'm trying to sleep here and you're wasting your time. The tail's not here. It flew out the window. You sure? Of course I am. I did it. What? Why did you do that? My sincere apologies, but it's a cat thing. I just can't fight it. If something fluffy goes flying by, I just gotta swipe at it. Oh, we cats are just like that. Wow, you speak swell. You mean all cats? Oh, yes. Mm. Hmm. Sorry, Eugenie. Hey, my tail. I'll explain later. Right now, clean up this room. Victoria, you're gonna help us. Uh, really? Mm-hmm. Are you sure of your plan? Absolutely. When Fluff and Nug see this, they won't be able to resist it, leaving us free access to your missing appendage. You sure? Totally. Now let's get your tail back. Do I have to climb on your back? Nope. We'll uh, take the stairs. Huh? Huh? Oh. Wow. Okay, let's
Let's go! You sure? Don't worry. <laughs> I'm a lean, mean ninja machine. Ha <laughs> 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 oh. Abundantly clear to everyone that I've got my edge back. We did it, Washington. We did it. I can't believe it. Uh, I mean, I knew we could. Dumb cats. Hello. Mm -hmm. I helped too. You're welcome. Sam, you're my best friend, and all that matters is that I'm the one who got your tail back. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Tell me when to stop, okay? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Meow. Arf, arf. Oh, is Sam Sam arf, hungry? Arf. I thought I'd just opened that this morning. Uh, that'll be enough for you today. Enjoy your meal. Ten second view. Sam? Sam? Sam! Someone shrunk my costume. Someone shrunk it. Get back in your suit right now. If you don't, everybody will notice that you're not a cat but a big fat boar. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, Sam's costume doesn't fit anymore. Give me a hand, fast. <laughs> Sam, enunciate. Uh, I think he says I'm suffocating. <laughs> got to fight for your right to get back into costume. Come on! No, Sam! No, Sam! Master pal! Hey! Where are you going? Whoa, man. What's all the racket? Come on, Sam. Your training's not over. Well, I'll be. You. A pig that meows. Arf, 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 arf. Arf, 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 arf. It, go away with your weird bark. <laughs> I love 
that toy. Hmm. I love my life. Don't panic, Sam. I'm gonna get you out. We're going to hoist you over. Honey! Who wants a treat? <laughs> Hang on tight, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I love that toy. Good boy. Get it, honey bunch. Sam, what about your diet? You don't understand. You're just a skinny fox. I hate squeezing into my costume, and I like eating cookies. Huh? Miss Treat likes the real me. But Sam, the warmth of a cookie can't compare to the warmth of a family. Well... There you go, honey bunch! <laughs> I'd rather leave than see any more of this. Farewell, Sam. Ah, there you are. But where's Sam? Sam? <laughs> Sam, no. you! No. Ah, Sam. Are you okay, boy? You look slim. Wait a minute. I've got something for you. Wow, Sam. You look slim and trim. Think it's me, Washington in disguise. <laughs> How does Sam do it? It's exhausting. I need to take a break. Hmm? Washington? Washington! 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 <laughs> say you want ham, say you want lunch, there's only one name that's Honey Bunch. Say you want ham, say you want lunch, there's only, only one name that's Honey Bunch. Honey bunch. Come here, Honey Bunch, my little lunch. <laughs> Looks like somebody's putting on weight. <sighs> Here we go, the diet talk. Well done, my friend. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> you can eat one more, can't you, piggy boy? <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Washington? Oh no! I'd rather leave than see any more of this. It's all my fault that he left. <laughs> this was his first birthday with us. I looked really cute that day. Maybe somewhere along the way, we stopped showing Washington how much we love him. Oh honey, you're great. It's me. I've been too wrapped up in my work. Group hug! <laughs> no cookie can compare to Washington, even if it is insanely, unbelievably delicious. Washington, you just hang in there. I'm gonna bring you back home. Honey? Honey Bunch! Where are you, ham to be? Oh. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, you little piece of fat ham? Linda! Say, isn't that the nickname that lady gave to Sam? Honey Bunch? Yep! So that means Sam is gonna be on TV! Yes! yes. Uh, no, not exactly. He's gonna be in the oven! She's gonna turn him into a big fat ham? No! Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh. Sam, come back! Come on, Vic. It's good karma. I think Victoria wants a cuddle, dear. Say you want ham, say you want lunch. There's only one name that's honey, but... Sam! 
Washington, help! Let's go home, buddy. What's all that racket? Oh, man! Hey, that's my costume. Not bad, right? Ah! Pastor Sam, she wants you for dinner. Faster, Sam! Faster! Come on! I'm here for you, buddy! Focus! No, Sam! No, Sam! No, Sam! Faster! She's standing on us! This is our chance! Yeah! I'll never be so selfish anymore. <sighs> Don't worry, Sam. The most important thing is that we're still best friends. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Honey, look who's home. Give me a hug, my sweet little doggy. <laughs> P.U. Somebody smells like garbage. <laughs> P.U., you, you stink. Right. Okay. Starting now, it's all about motivation. New eating habits, new Sam. Oh, it's Sam! New me. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. So, I put the energy commuters in, I activate the directional multiprocessor, and good as new. Yay, it's fixed! Who's a techno wizard? Who? <laughs> a simple nap on my own armchair. Please let me know when I can come back. One more magic trick, one more. Well, since you insist, now that I fixed it, I can do this. Oh. Or this. Ha! Oh. Or this. Big hurry, he's not just a vacuum cleaner, he's a computer. And thanks to his fancy computer parts, he can clean your house without you. So go out and enjoy life. Great home. Now, there is a piece of technology worthy of my talents. And Craig is a great name. It's for me! Is it your new action figure? No, but almost as cool. Oh. I am Craig. I What's am going old. on? <gasps> is that Craig, the computer vacuum cleaner from TV? You know him? Of course! Oh, sweetie, you're the best! Now 
we can go out and enjoy life. I bet that was quite a splurge. I, uh, yeah, right. Nothing is too good for my wife. Oh. Scanning, scanning, scanning. scanning. It's incredible. Diagnosis, filthy. You are likely busy professionals. It is okay. Crank is home. Let's not waste another second in this pigsty. <laughs> Let's go to Mexico. Let's meet my new friend, Craig. I'm Washington. Hello, I am Craig. Oops. Sorry, dude. No hands. Look, I hear you're very smart. Guess what? I am too, so I... Hello, I am Craig. I am home. Hello, I am Craig. I am home. Oh, okay. We'll talk more later. I am Craig. Huh? I am home. Uh, excuse me? I just so happen to be the cleanest person in this house. Now I would like to sleep. Dirty. Oh. What? A vacuum? Ah! No! Oh, wow. A vacuum! Uh, um, how may I help you? I think she's trying to sing. It's a vac vac A vacuum cleaner, <laughs> yes. And also a computer. I ordered him. For a scientific experiment. What? You're the one who brought that monster into the house? Technically speaking, it wasn't me, me. <laughs> Ow, again. <gasps> Yippee! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait, look what he can do. Craig, over here, buddy. <laughs> Dirty, dirty, dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Yes, I knew. Well, Craig, you don't really seem all that smart. My expert opinion tells me there's a glitch in his fancy computer parts, and that's a job for a high tech whiz, which is me. Washington, stay away. Send that monster back to its lair. We have a broom. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Oh. Nice. I think you broke him. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> I love hacking. Nice job, genius. Okay, so he needs a minor adjustment. <laughs> now he should work like a charm. Um, what? Normal? Oh, yeah. The lights are just decoration. It's a bad dream. It's a bad dream. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, morning. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Okay, Craig, I'm starting to regret this purchase. I know where the receipt is. Faster, Sam. You're going to get your butt vacuumed up. <laughs> Come on, get lost, you bad appliance. Do I even need to say it? You're a big dummy. Thanks for a great day. No, but seriously, we're safe up here. Safe? Oh, sure. Everything is fine. In fact, I think I'll just... Uh... Hey, look! Craig wants to play tag, too!
gotta find a way out of the house. Can you guys hear me? Huh? Barely, you guys! Vic, you'll lure Craig. No way am I going to be breakfast for that crazy vacuum. You brought him into this house, you'd make him leave. Okay, look, I have other great plans. Just head out the door, forget the plan. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Sam, remember the plan! Hey, this way! Come on! Sam, we're good! Come on, quick! Real slow now. No sudden movement. I don't want to run away anymore. I'm stronger than that machine. You don't scare me, you stupid can! Oh! You guys, give him more stuff to suck up. We gotta fill him up! This is even better than cartoons! <laughs> There's nothing left to throw! Yes, there is! That! It was great knowing you, Wash. You too, Vic. No, not you! Your costumes! Impossible! No way am I going back to the forest! Oh, yeah? You'd prefer to be swallowed and ground to a pulp by a killer robot? You got no choice, Wash. Farewell, Dream Home. outside and enjoy life again. We'll pretend we never saw this. Let's go back to Mexico. I still don't understand what went wrong. Well, on the bright side, I no longer wish I had my computer. <laughs> Looks like I made a very smart exchange. Cut, cut, cut. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to 
keep our secret. Anybody smell something stinky? All I can smell is the heat. Hmm, you mean like a rotten cauliflower? Yeah, just like that. I smell it now, but I think it's a pile of dirty, wet socks. Mm -hmm. You're both wrong. It's Sam. Come on, Vic. That's a low blow. Of course it's not. <laughs> Hey, Washington. Trying to drink this milk, but it's kind of chunky. It's your smell, Sam. It's curdled the milk. Oh, well, it is a hot day. And bats are very boring. Sam, when was the last time you had one? Yes, let's see. One, two... What month is it? What? No wonder you smell. Yeah, I smell great. Unique. <laughs> you don't smell great. You smell gross. Can't you smell your stink? No, oh, that is the uh, uh, skunk. I know you're not blaming me for that stench, yo. But you want some of my stink? Just say so. Uh, we're fine. You're very scary, though. Impressive. Well, the skunk's gone, but the stink is not. Love me, love my smell. This is gonna be a long summer. Would you like a bacon sandwich, dear, or bacon between two pieces of bread? I think I'd prefer a piece of bacon with bread on each side. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell, honey? It's certainly not bacon. It smells almost boarish. Like a wild boar, don't you think? Yes, it's just like wild boar. But how could that be? <gasps> Hear that? The elves are about to discover our secret thanks to Sam's stink. They won't smell it if we secretly stick branches up their nostrils. True, but I think they might notice branches up their nostrils. Well, until we find the source, we just need... Air, air freshener. freshener! And we need some boar freshener. Good luck finding that at the store. If you'll excuse me, I need to go breathe. We may not be able to buy boar freshener, but we can make a super crazy smell to disguise Sam's stink. We'll start with bacon grease. Ha ha! Who can resist that? Add some musky aftershave. A little garlic. A dash of toothpaste. A slice of shag carpet. No! A roll of toilet paper. No! A trumpet. Fine. Oh, good. I love the smell of music. The moment of truth. That is beyond my wildest expectations. <laughs> yeah? Oh, so you like my smell now, huh? I knew you'd learn to love my natural aroma. Everyone does. Right. That's exactly it. I love your natural wild boar smell. Huh? What is that? It's... it's... It's my natural smell. Leave me alone if you don't like it. But... but I love it. I love you. Where could it have come from? <laughs> oh, Sam, it's not you, is it? He smells... He smells... So delightful! delightful. <laughs> Have a snack, you charming devil. A 
And you can take our bed tonight. We'll sleep in the garden. Coast is clear. A bacon raid can commence. Hello, ladies. Move it, Scarlet Bun. Before we. Kiss you from head to toe! You look all tense, let me massage these knots. You're so cool. Yes, I know. Oh, oh, no! Hurry up! We have to go to his place right now! Come on! <sighs> Sam's stink is sorted out and I can finally chillax. Sam is in the building, fans! Susie, what's wrong with you? They love me and my awesome smell. Oh, no! My super crazy boar freshener, it's too powerful! Here, girls, it's me. It's Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Sam, I need to talk to you. And I need to talk to you, Washington. Listen, I decided to ditch the disguise. What? What are you saying? The elves will know you're a boar. Big deal. They love the boar smell, they'll love the boar. No! <laughs> Sam, what everyone loves isn't your smell. They love this. You're just jealous of my natural... Hmm? Whoa, that stuff does smell good. It's aftershave and bacon grease with a few secret spices. We mixed it up, didn't we, girls? Ah! But I thought it was me that everyone liked. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? That stuff's powerful. Ah! Sam, you smell fantastic. <laughs> Come back to our place, Sam. You can stay forever. Yeah. It's time for our wedding dance, Dreamboat. <laughs> yeah. Smelling so incredible is a lot of pressure. <laughs> Phew. That's better. A bit of peace and quiet. It's that fat cat that <laughs> smells so good. Good Whoa. kitty. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, get oh. over. Good kitty. No, no. The whole city loves me much too much! Please, Washington, stop me from smelling so sweet! I'll do anything! Even a boring bath? <laughs> I'm ready. Bathe me. <laughs> that ought to do it. You sure? <laughs> okay. Maybe you need a dry clean. That ought to do it. You sure? Oh! Ah! I'm never gonna get this stuff off me. I'll be hunted forever. There must be a way. Okay, we got rid of your stick by overpowering it with something stronger. Hurry up, Washington! I can't feel my eyes! So we're going to need to overpower that with something even stronger! Super stronger! There's nothing stronger than this delicious aroma! There's one possible thing, but it won't be pretty! Who cares about pretty? Okay. I'll always love him. Love who? I don't remember. There she is. Does she see us? Just wait. Uh, 
is that smell you? You like that? Uh-huh. That is sweet. <laughs> I like your smell too. Very funny. He's serious. You splash his back, we'll splash yours. Now you're just messing with me. No, no, we... Yeah, we are. You're a stinky, stinky skunk. Why, you lousy... Gross! <laughs> Thanks. You are one weird cat. Just in case you're not messing. So how do I smell? <laughs> Tomatoes, the best cure for skunk stink. Sorry, Sam. Sorry, I love a good tomato bath. So, from now on, you can call me Sam Marinara. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. No, should we call a pet sitter? We've never left them alone overnight before. Oh, honey, they'll be okay for one night. We'll be home in the morning. A pet sitter? Last time it was Nuggin and Fluffy's cranky old lady. She watched game shows the whole time and ate all our treats. Ooh. It's time for you to be convincing, my friends. Do we really need a pet sitter? <coughs> hmm. Will you be good animals? <laughs> Fine. We'll try it. No pet sitter. We're trusting you. See you in the morning. Hey, we can use the extra money for Pancake Paradise. Mission accomplished. TV night is all ours. Yeah. This is going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, If you screw things up, we'll end up with a pet sitter every single time they go away. Don't worry, we'll behave. Sam, how about a nice scary movie? Great idea! Mr. L always changes the channel. He gets really scared. Scary movie? No thanks. How about a game of tag? Huh? Oh no, not tag. about this restaurant. <laughs> Come out of here, cheeky spirit! Ooh, it's so cute! <laughs> Quick, activate the anti-ghost ray! Nothing stops ghost hunters! We should, um, probably go check on Eugenie and Susie, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a force of good that's going to do you bad, you nasty <laughs> old ghost! <laughs> Your breath, it's horrible. <laughs> hey, find another hiding place. But where? I don't know, anywhere that's not around me. How about the bathroom? Go hide in the toilet. Huh? <laughs> oh, ugh, kids, they believe anything. Okay, we got one chance here. This magnet should enable the neutralization of the ectoplasm of the ghost. The ghost will take form and I'll finally be able to capture him. Oh, Vic's right. The toilet is the perfect place to hide. <laughs> huh? I'm sure I saw her coming here. Ghost 
just show yourself. <laughs> Are you insane, Eugenie? What has gotten into you? It's Susie. It's Susie what? What am I doing here? <laughs> wow, that's fun. It's a pretty good hiding spot after all. Hello? Where'd they go? Huh? <laughs> Bet they got scared. Oh. Poor Susie. We'll never see her again. <gasps> what uh, the? Susie is a ghost? <laughs> Wait a second. I know what to do. We too must become ghost hunters! <laughs> Fear just changed sides, huh? <gasps> <laughs> is going to enable the neutralization of the ectoplasm of the ghost. The ghost will take form, and I'll finally be able to capture him. I already heard that somewhere before. I can only use my bathroom. No one moves. Oh. <sighs> well, I'm gonna make some tea. <gasps> we must have left it on when we were leaving. Feeling better now. Oh, hi guys. Where's Susie? Honey, can you please come in? There's a problem with the sink. Oh, that's weird. Ooh. Looks like something's blocking the pipe. 
Listen, let's go back to the camp. We'll fix it when we come back. You're right, dear. Let's go. Pipes? The pipes! There are pipes! They're like, like underground tunnels. That explains everything. We dropped the magnet down the toilet, right? Yes, why? Because it wasn't the ghost dragging us up to the ceiling. It was the magnet. And that, and that Susie is hiding in the pipes and waiting for someone to find her. You are one clever fox, Wash. And you're smart, too. We're gonna pump her out of there. On the count of three. One, two, and three! <laughs> Keep jumping! It's working! There is no way I'm staying around here to be haunted the rest of my life. <laughs> Is okay. Hmm. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Hey, where's Susie? <laughs> See, all is well. They did just fine on their own. We did it. We proved to them that they can trust us. Hang on. Hello? Has anyone seen Victoria? <laughs> it's a nightmare. I'm going to wake up and have breakfast. Any minute now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I did. It's not every night your boss comes to dinner. Honey, you're a genius. Who doesn't love truffles, right? They cost a fortune, but... <sighs> These babies are gonna get me a tasty raise. The boss man will be very impressed. <laughs> you better keep your little nose out of these, Miss Victoria. So look, it's super simple. First, you throw it to the quarterback, who throws it to the runner over here. Hey, are you listening to me? <laughs> Football is fun! Get it! I got it! Yes! Hmm, that smell. What is that? Why is that so familiar? Uh, what's up with Sam? Oh, no! I remember it now! That smell is the smell of truffles! <laughs> Those precious truffles, they're nothing but trouble. They turn Sam into a maniac. They are his one true love. He loses control around them. Of course, there's not a wild boar in the world that can resist a truffle once he gets a taste. 
Yeah, we all love that smell, but you're gonna have to find a way to control him. Because guess who else is crazy for truffles? Babarusas? Hmm? Humans! They cost a fortune! Mm, you don't say. I do. Mr. L's boss is coming to dinner tonight, and those truffles are for him. So if Sam so much as sneaks a nibble, they'll freak. <laughs> what about Eugenie? She's never tasted one, so it shouldn't be a problem. But this is not good. Girls, go get me anything you can find to plug up his nose, quick! Hey, buddy, what's up? Come on, <laughs> relax, take a deep breath. That's all we can find. This is for your own good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. I've got an idea. I cured myself of balls of yarn with hypnosis. Let me handle this. Look at me. You do not like truffles. Listen to me. Yeah, that really worked great. Truffles, truffles, truffles. Sam, please, stop! Why did you do that? My truffle tagliatelle is going to be divine if I do say so myself. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. I just couldn't control myself. Sorry. If you're sorry, you better make it clear you did it before we all get in trouble. We can be kicked out or even abandoned for less than that. Let's not be so dramatic. If he doesn't own up, I'll expose you and it'll be back to the forest for everybody. She's right, Wash. It's all my fault. I'm the one who should be punished. Wait, there's got to be another solution. Doubt it. I mean, we know where to find more. And where would that be? In the forest, a.k.a. our old neighborhood. We should be able to go and get back before dinner. Yeah, well, I don't see how you'll ever get enough. No problem. I've got the best truffle detector in the whole world. Sam's snout. Yeah? How are you going to keep him from eating them once he smells them? Working on it. What was that noise? It's nothing. Nothing but nice, fun nature. Okay, let's get going. Wait, don't the truffles only grow near? Yes, Mitch's cave. That's the one little thing. If Mrs. L comes back before those dummies return, I'm the only one who's going to get in trouble. We'll help you. We don't want you to get punished. You're going to help me keep her out of the kitchen. I've got a couple awesome ideas, naturally. Ready? Go! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for keeping me out of trouble. No probs, bro. That's what best friends are for. <laughs> Did someone say best friend? I knew it was you guys. You missed Mitch, didn't you? Uh, actually, no. <laughs> hey, Mitch. What a nice surprise. <laughs> and now we'll never, ever get separated again. No, seriously, Mitch. We're in a hurry. Okay. Salad fork, truffle fork, steak knife. Okay, just keep Mrs. L out of the kitchen for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. No, Eugenie, I'll play with you later, Bunny. Out of the way now. setting the table. Oh, the stress is getting to me. You guys can move in with me and do everything I say. It'll be great. You can bring me human food. Mm -hmm. 
Huh? I should tie you up. Maybe you'd like to hang upside down from the tree all night? Oh, you guys want some cricket cookies? Hold on. I forget what a bad temper he has. No kidding. Remember the time we went swimming with him? Oh, you brought snacks! No! It's not for you right now. It's for after... after the show. Huh? What show? Uh, yeah, what show? The show to celebrate our reunion, Sam. The one we talked about? What are you talking about? We never talked about a show. <laughs> Anyway, showtime! Sam, why don't we start with a song? Uh, okay. I know Fairy Jacka. Yeah. Okay. Fairy Jacka, Fairy Jacka. Enough! My turn. I'm gonna do a wonderful magic trick. Choose a card. Any card. <laughs> No, honey, no, I'm busy. I'll play with you later. No, don't! You're gonna make me lose my balance! And... Ah! Ah! Oh. Ah! oh, no. Right, I've got just enough time to go and get new flowers. And you, little rascals, are going to go play in the yard. Shoot! Shoot! Mm. Ha <laughs> ha! My nose is starting to itch. Oh, hey, Mitch. I know a great magic trick, too. You do? Watch closely. I'm going to go all around the cave without touching the ground. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, right. Sam? Ta-da! Hocus Pocus, Flying Fungus! Ah. <laughs> truffles! Truffles, truffles! Bravo! Is this part of the trick? Hey, you get back here and have more fun! Wow! Best magic trick ever! Truffles! 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 We're coming! <laughs> what are you doing in here, you little rascal? Get away from my truffles! Okay, time to cook now. Come on, honey. How could you know your boss was allergic to truffles? Uh, my career is over. Quite possible. But what am I going to do with all of this now? Animals, come in here! <laughs> no point in letting the rest go to waste. Someone should enjoy my masterpiece while it's fresh. Well, you are officially the most spoiled pets in the neighborhood. <laughs> but empty little ones. <laughs> Deal about these things anyway. <laughs> uh, yum! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. Everything's gotta be perfect tonight. I think the new boss is finally starting to notice me. 
just the other day, he almost said my name correctly. That's great, honey. But then, he tried to high-five me. And I missed. Well, it happens to everyone. Not really. But tonight, I have a second chance, and I'm not gonna screw it up. Honey, relax. Just enjoy the party. Don't stress. <laughs> now, you boys have to be on your best behavior tonight. My new boss, Mr. Gooper, is coming tonight. Yes, he is. We wouldn't want him to think we've got wild animals running loose. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> Yuck! Guests make you do cute things. And they try to pet you, and worst of all, they talk baby talk! I'm out of here. I think guests sound like fun! Silly. <laughs> Come in. Oh, wait. What's the secret password? Oh, <laughs> he's just kidding. Come in. Make yourself at home. How about some punch? Do you have any food? What happened to us back there? We went completely wild. I don't know. All of a sudden, I just felt like shaking. Me. Yeah, I couldn't hold back. I was in a wild groove. Hey, Toad, are you locked? and their music. Keep it together. You heard what Mr. L said. No, oh, oh, I know. Now you, you boys have, have to be on your best behavior tonight. tonight. My new boss, Mr. Goober, is coming tonight. tonight. We, we wouldn't want, want him to think, to think we've, we've got, got wild animals, animals running loose. You guys, whatever you do, do not give in to that great music. If we do, it would be bad for Mr. L, but mostly, really, really bad for us. No. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Don't give in. Our secret life as domestic pets depends on it. Got it? Yes. yes. Don't, Don't give in. Don't give in. Don't give in. Don't, Don't give in. 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 Don
Washington, our guests are here. Here, pets. Come on. Come on. We've got to get back in there like nice, normal pets. We can do this. You're not Mr. Goober, but welcome! Let me take your coat! <laughs> this is stressing me out! Me too! If that music comes back, we're toast! Did you know our hearing is ten times better than a human's? You... I think I feel worse now. <sighs> Sorry! Oh, girls! We're gonna need music for this! <laughs> just as soon as Mr. Goober gets here. Anyone hear from him? No? See? And this one here is just a big cuddle ball. All he wants is to be loved. Uh, who wants some more punch? Do you have any food? Keep quiet, dude. I'll come back soon. Ugh, Sam! I was comfortable in there! <sighs> come on, you awesome music. You think you can take me down? I don't think so. <laughs> Mr. Goober is really late. The guests are getting hungry. Okay, I guess he's not coming. Maybe he didn't like the little smiley face I put on the email invite. Honey, relax. Why don't you show the guests some of Washington's amazing tricks? <clears throat> hey. hey, guys, want to see a cool trick my dog can do? What? Okay, boy, show everyone how you can balance a doggy treat for a whole minute. <laughs> Okay, boy. Steady now. Steady. You blasted music. You made me drop the dog treat. You ruined my best trick. Arf, 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 arf. I can't take it anymore. I've got to stop that music. Washington! Bad dog! Bad dog! What's gotten into you? Washington! What's happening in here? Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, you know how dogs are. Uh, they like to chase after cars and... Uh, Mr. Goober? Mr. Liverstone, I've been driving around in circles trying to find your house. <sighs> I'm so glad you found me. It's Livingstone. Uh, never mind. It was actually my dog, Washington, who found you. Wow, what a smart dog you have, Mr. Livingstone. Very impressive. <laughs> oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? I guess I was too wrapped up in the new Daft Prodigy Brothers album to focus on where I was going. 
Did you know they use sound samples only wild animals can hear? Ah! I can't help but want to go wild whenever I hear it. Uh, I haven't heard it yet. What? No! Come on! Excellent party, Livingstone! Glad you could make it! <laughs> Give me five, Livingstone! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. vacation. The oh. elves and I go away every year and it's pretty great. Yeah? What's so great about it? Mm, relaxation, duh. Do you know how exhausting it is being a house cat all year round? But if you don't like lounging around all day and 24-hour access to an all-you-can-eat buffet, then you wouldn't like it. Ew! An all-you-can-eat what? Did you just say what I think you said? We're going too, right? Of course. You can't very well stay home by yourselves, can you? <laughs> Look, the pets are all lined up and ready to roll. Good thing, too. We've got to get you guys to the kennel. Oh, huh? the kennel! That's right! The vet said to arrive by noon! The k k k k kennel The vet? The Livingstones go on their summer vacation to the kennel? I thought the kennel was for pets! It is for <gasps> pets! The elves are leaving us there! That could be... fun? Did you not hear the part about the vet? The kennel is his! <gasps> what? I didn't say we were going with them. Anyway, the kennel rocks. He'll love it. It's like a spa. You get groomed, brushed, bathed, Yay. scratched, massaged. We can't get groomed! They'll see our zippers! Wait, wait! What about the all-you-can-eat buffet, huh? They keep a couple of big dishes of dry kibble out all day. It's not the greatest food, but it's there. Let's go! <gasps> oh! What has gotten into you, pets? Come on, guys, we're gonna be late for vacation! Huh? <laughs> I'll take Victoria in for her first spa treatment, but you can just drop off these first-time guests in the first room for a thorough exam. Thanks a bunch. See you guys in a week. Have a great vacation. Come on, guys. Hurry up. <laughs> 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 I'll be right in. We gotta think of something. If he gives us an exam, we're goners. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Who have we got here today? An idea! An idea! Quick! Ah! 
Washington, Sam, Eugenie, and Sa That looks scary, huh? Can't I ever just get groomed in peace? Not for all. How did wild animals even get an appointment with me? Deep breath, Doctor. Deep breath. <laughs> Where are the living stones, pets? <laughs> Some very distressing news? Your pets have gone missing for the moment? Your naughty pets have run away momentarily. We are doing our best to deal with this inconvenience. Just a man to handle this situation. Uh, hello. Terrible vet here. Hey, buddy. We spotted those wild animals over by the Livingstone's house, and we need your help. Do you still have your big game net from our college safari days? <laughs> Come on, lad. Get it. It's your only chance. <laughs> Darn. It's all over. The old chap is too scared. Why, yes, I do. I'll be right over. Nothing would make me happier than to catch those petting beasts. Oh, if only I wasn't such a baby. <gasps> Duty is calling, Vladimir. But I... That's impossible, Velma. But you don't understand. I'm afraid, for dog's sake. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm a coward. Pull yourself together, Vladimir. You're pathetic. Do I know you? It's me, silly Susie! Oh, sorry, I'm really relaxed. You gotta help us! Animal Control have Sam, Washington, and Eugenie cornered, and, well, we need their costumes back where they're got us! <laughs> you, little Miss Victoria, are going home to the Living Stones. Hopefully your impressive grooming will distract them from the fact that all their other pets are missing. This is your chance, Vladimir! Be a man! And show some guts! Freeze! We've got you surrounded! You're going back to the forest! Looks like this is it, Sam. It was fun until right now, Wash. Remember that time I shoved candy up my nose and had to sneeze so bad and you guys... <laughs> And not a minute too soon. Oh. Oh. Hey, 
Hey, hey, what's going on? We came straight away when we got your message. My car! We've got to find him, Doc! But... You've got to be brave, Mrs. L. <laughs> Don't throw the nets before we see the light of their eyes! We sure had some good times together, didn't we? We sure did! Susie! Victoria saves the day. Yeah! <laughs> Quick! <laughs> the suits! The suits? <laughs> Susie, do you have the suits? Me? No, they were with you in the cage. You must be kidding. It was our very last chance. <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> Run. It was easier to carry that way. Hey, what's happening? No. 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 Oh. Oh, <laughs> Thank goodness! Oh, you said they'd run away! Uh, yes, well, they did run away, but uh, this is where they ran to! Home sweet home! Looks like they were just missing you two! We, we miss, miss them, them too! I'm so <laughs> glad our kettle could bring you closer together! I hate to interrupt this happy scene, folks, but we've still got some wild animals to track and catch! Are you coming with us, Vladimir? Uh, me? Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yahoo! <laughs> you know, honey. Yes, dear? Sometimes we forget just how good we have it right here at home. What would you think of a... Staycation? Exactly. What's more fun than staying right here and hanging out with our awesome pets? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> the things I do for this family. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. out on my best moves. Check it! doing? Your humans are nowhere in sight. Oh, Washington, sometimes it's as if you live in the wild. Don't you know we're training for the Royal Kibble Dog Show? There's only posters plastered all over town. The winner gets a year's supply of Royal Kibble. What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so how do I enter the show? 
<laughs> oh, please. Impossible. What? What's the problem? Well, it's just that you are... How can I say this? You are one weird dog. What? Like when you bark, for example. Arr, arr, <laughs> woof! Woof! <laughs> okay, now you're just trying to make us laugh. <laughs> it hurts. You'd better go before we laugh to death. <laughs> laugh all you want, but I'm not only going to enter the show, I'm going to win this thing. Come on, guys. I found one. I found one. A poster for the Royal Kibble Dog Show. Way to go, Sam. Okay, let's take it home and put it somewhere where Mr. Livingstone will see it. Oh, come on. Okay, Susie, we'll wait for you at home. Don't be too late. Come on, guys. Mmm, spinach nut cake. Oh, oh, yeah. What's going on, boy? Huh? Read for me. Royal Kibble is hosting a dog show? Interesting. Nice job, Susie. Thank you. I couldn't let the poster win. Hey, Wash. Maybe we ought to sign you up. How'd you like to be the Royal Kibble King? <laughs> Classy stuff, Wash. You're a natural show dog. <laughs> See? I mean, who can resist that hilarious bark? Let's do this. Okay, this is getting too weird. Roll over on your hind legs. Heel. Yes, and legs. Nice job. Touch your tongue to your nose. That a boy. Now catch. Dog, wash we, I mean, you are gonna win big today. All hail the king! <laughs> now that's a good one. <sighs> Everything looks rosier after a three hour nap. Say, Wash, when you become the new royal kibble king, can I be your bodyguard? Wow, what? Wash the royal kibble king? That's right, I'm doing the dog show. Uh, that is not a good idea. Oh, I know. You're still mad about that musical wake-up. No, no, Wash, that's not it. The judges, they... Vic, no negative vibes before showtime, okay? But... Sam? Get you, bud. Okay, okay, forget it. I won't say another word. Consider it zipped. Welcome one and all to the annual Royal Kibble Dog Show. All of our canine contestants will be judged by me, the president of Royal Kibble. But only one of them will become king. Yeah! Oh, Ready to win, champ? Totally. Nothing can stop me now. Well, hello, Livingstone. Hi there, Doc. I figured I'd see you here. Washington here is competing. Why, hello, Washington. Can't wait to examine those teeth of yours. Very unusual, sharp, and pointy. See you soon. Uh, Doc, could you tell me... The vet wants to examine my teeth? But... But what do my teeth have to do with a talent show? The key! We've got to find the key so she'll tell us! It's 
it's not just a talent show. Winning is also based on physical appearance. The vet inspects teeth, fur, claws. It's the final event only for the 10 best dogs. What? Looks don't mean anything. Right, well, I don't make the rules. You can still win, Wash, I know it. Uh, no, Sam. If the vet examines me, I'll, we'll lose everything. It's like you can't win. Yeah, no negative vibes, remember? This box uh, dog has to perform today. Or maybe I don't. Ready, boy? Here goes. Washington, give a paw. Well, let's start simple. Roll over. Uh, okay, we'll try again. Sit, boy. Yeah, you're the best, Wash! You can do it, Wash! He can't do it. I guess we withdraw. He's usually very obedient. I... I... Oh, no! Poor Mr. Livingstone! <laughs> Did I say I told you so? It's amazing! He's even worse than our wildest dreams! <laughs> ah, now that's my dog! Mad? Um, okay then. Next! No, here's a real champion for you. Mm. Well done, Wash. Now the vet is going to look you over. <laughs> Good dog. Now open your mouth wide. Come on. I'm his bodyguard. It's up to me to save him. <laughs> Just been brought to my attention that a wild boar is loose in the park. Run for your life! Phew! Sam just saved my life. But now, who's going to save Sam? Sam's been trapped! Washington is in the house! Ow. in a commercial? Talk about a dream come true. Next year's contest is just around the corner. We must get funky. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. No! For the seventh time, why not? You're too little. Now, shh! For once, he's right. 
Shh. Hello. Hello. We're home. <laughs> what? Sam? You know, those two are becoming real slugs. They don't even get up anymore when we come home. What they need is some exercise, but not with me. What do you say we hire a dog walker? A what? A dog walker. A babysitter for dogs. But instead of sitting, you walk. Nowadays, they take cats, too. How modern. The walker could take them out when we're at work. Or when we're watching TV. Did you hear that, boys? You're getting your very own walker. Yay! Awesome. You have no idea what that is, do you? It's cool. I know that much. Maybe it's a kibble detector. <laughs> or a fried chicken dispenser. <laughs> Close. It's a car for extra smart pets like you. Your own car? car? Look at them. I think they know their new walker is coming. <laughs> Washington and Sam, meet your fantastic professionals. Gracie and Alfie. Gracie and Alfie? Are they your drivers? We're going to take you two on a nice long walk. <laughs> very funny, Vic. See you later, Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone. We'll be very professional. We're not allowed to cross the street. When you come to a corner, what do you do? Turn right. Isn't that the same house? us in this hole. Really think they're in the forest? 
We can't give up. It wouldn't be professional. Also, they're our only customers. But, but there are bears in the forest. Don't be silly. Bears are only in storybooks. Snack time again? Nope, this is big. No! Cookies! Sam! Wash! Sam! Wash! Oh. Oh, I'm afraid. Uh, it was just a branch. Now, I'm really wondering myself what those little brats did all this time. I'll bet you a bajillion cookies the kids have gone home. So long, guys. See you soon. It's almost six o'clock. Where are my Gracie and Alfie? <laughs> oh! Oh! Hey, Wash, do you have this bajillion cookies on you? We'll find the children. They can't have gone far. This is only the fourth largest city in the country. You two, inside. Heard you lost the kids. Way to go. Ooh, ooh. That's some big time trouble wash. Yeah, everyone seems pretty upset. Uh, yeah, kids are like super precious to adults and stuff. Sam, we gotta find those kids before the adults do. But Mrs. L says- And your super snout will do the job. <laughs> The path ends right here. Where could they have gone? There! Oh. On the ground! Mitch! He must have smelled the cookies and grabbed the kids! Oh no! That explains why they didn't come home! Mitch ate them! Not necessarily. Hopefully he still has cookies. But Sam, we gotta unzip. What? We're gonna rescue those kids. We gotta go in deep. And we can't risk our wild friends seeing Doggy and Kitty. Too dangerous. They'll try to eat us for dinner. We look delicious. <laughs> hey there, Wash. I'd offer you some cookies, but I ate them all. No problem, Mitch. We'll go get some. Sam, now would be a very good time to go home and get Mitch some more cookies. But how do I... Sign him. <laughs> now! Lots of cookies coming up. Hey, let's all play a game while we wait. Mmm. Like what? How about hide and seek? We learned it in the city, but it's super simple. You go and hide in the forest and I'll try and find you. If I don't, then you win. Oh, I'm good at hiding. I'm gonna win. And for the prize, more cookies. Deal. <laughs> You'll never find me. And now, the kids. <laughs> What's up? One minute they're running after us, the other minute they're running away. Kids. Ah, my costume. Nice move! <laughs> wow, they're hard! These cookies are weird. They're diet cookies. They're made with wood flour. You can build a house with that. <laughs> Sam, you're naked! Duh, I know! Listen, Mitch has the kids. Mitch wants cookies. You get cookies to Mitch, you hear me? Easy! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, 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 oh. Washington! Oh. I'd know that weird bark anywhere. Oh, how did you find me so fast? Washington! Oh. Gracie and Alfie? Mmm, -hmm. they're sweet, and I'm hungry. Gracie and Alfie? Ugh. Don't you want cookies? Hey, where are my cookies? Washington! Oh. Oh. Sam, wash! Oh, and there was a big bear, too, who loved our cookies. Of course.
course he did. No, oh, where are they? They must be hiding. This time I'm gonna win for sure. <laughs> what the? Oh! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Life's miserable. Wow, Vic, sounds like you really don't want her in here. I don't. Okay, well, if that's how you feel. I'll go get her. Guys, <laughs> looks like we bought winter sweaters in a nick of time. <laughs> Who wants a nice hot cup of herbal tea? I do. We do it. This is Eugenie, Susie, and Sam, and of course you know me, Washington, the guy who saved your life. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Here's the deal. She can stay with us until it warms up a bit. Yes! It'll be like having her very own pet. She's a pet pet. Thanks for saving her, Wash. What can I say? Sometimes saving the day just feels right, you know? This definitely feels right. Come on, Moth. We'll show you around. And last but not least, the watering point. <laughs> okay, enough for today. Last one on the couch is called Prickly Pear. Help it. It's every cat's primal urge to capture that moth. So that's why you didn't want her in here. <sighs> if only you could see the moth for the great addition she really is. Vic, maybe if you got to know the moth, you'd see she's really sweet. Trust me, that moth is the opposite of sweet. Come on, Vic. Remember, you once felt the same way about us. I still do. Huh? Susie and Eugenie, stay on Victoria. Don't let her get our new friend. Hooray, hey, Captain. Captain! Is it just me, or is this the nicest scarf ever? <laughs> huh? Oh, yes. There are even holes for ventilation. <laughs> on you, everything looks super. Well, that sweet remark just won you another cup oh. of Ylang Ylang. That's what moths do. They eat wool. And you know what else they do? They never leave. This isn't good. 
Good luck with the new bestie, Captain Idiot. Look, it's gonna be okay. We can't get angry with the moth for not knowing the rules of living indoors. I mean, there was a time when we didn't know how to act inside a house either. I still don't understand why we don't all use the toilet. You see, Moth, we had to learn to hide our natural instincts so we could live inside this nice house. It's true. I'm not really a cat. I'm a boar. I was born to roll in mud. But the one thing that separates cats from boar is cats don't like to roll in mud. Really? That's the one thing that separates us? That and your furball problem. Anyway, I still need to roll around in something, so now I use raisins. It pretty much feels the same. And now when I'm done, no mess. I just eat the evidence. Either way, I win. Here's my story. Bunnies love carrots. I hate carrots. So I just pretend to like them, and then I bury them in the backyard. And no one knows a thing. I'm a bird pretending to be a bird. Well, I think we've explained to the moth how to get along in the house. Right, moth? Okay, okay, maybe we're just going about this wrong. If we can't get her to stop eating... <laughs> ole, ole, moth! Eat up, little friend. Ah! Problem solved. <laughs> Man, I thought you'd eat anything. Hmm? I tried, but I choked on the yarn. Wow, for a tiny creature, she can really put it away. Mm hmm I'll go find more moth food as soon as I get my own breakfast. Most important meal huh? of the day. Sam, stop! Look at yourself! Ah! What if the living stone sees Sam? We're going to get kicked out of the house for sure. <laughs> Everyone stop panicking. Sam, until I figure something out, no leaving the room. The elves can't see you, even if it means no breakfast. What? I don't know what to say, Moth. I trusted you. <gasps> Moth! No! You couldn't listen to me. Moths are extremely annoying little bugs. They're not indoor pets. They're indoor nightmares. And it's just going to get worse. <laughs> Worse than no breakfast? I'm so hungry. Sammy? Is that you, boy? Oh. Oops. You need some private time. I'll leave you to it. If I were a moth, where would I hide? Aha! <laughs> She's not here. But she was. Where to? Once there she Sam? May I help you pack? Idea! What if we unscrew every light in the house so the living stones won't be able to see me? I'll only come out at night when it's dark. They'll call me Night Cat. What? Bad idea? Yeah! What's going on here? Oh, well, that's adorable. We can't stay here. You little help here. Look, you tried, we tried, but you're never gonna make it as an indoor pet. You just act too nuts. You think I like acting like this? Oh, you can talk? No one ever likes a moth. No one ever tries to see what's inside. Everyone only focuses on the back. Well, you do eat people's clothes and stuff. I can't help it. You have no idea what it's like not to want to be who you are. Hmm. I think we know a little something about not wanting to be who we are. I mean, 
I'm a fox pretending to be a dog. Lucky you. I'd do anything to be something else. I have an idea. How about I do what I do, and you do what you do? My behind is extra fuzzy. Well done, Moth. Your turn. <laughs> You're like a princess. <laughs> Not gonna lie, <laughs> she looks pretty good. So, are you ready to head out and see the world, Moth? I'm ready. Thanks, guys. You really are the best. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Don't even think about it. Oh, fine, just get it over with. Yeah! I'm gonna miss her. Are you kidding me? This place was crazy when she was here. Just admit it, you like that moth. Please, I only let it kiss me so it would go away. I think I helped you get over your issues with moths. You're welcome. Whatever. Can we please go back to our normal life? And by that, I mean where the only thing driving me crazy is you. Fine. Wild ones, let us resume our mellow, quiet life. Everyone relax. <laughs> yeah. Where's the green bath mat? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. but also sweet and often delicious. Here comes the uncontested Lord of the Garden. Here comes the snail. Snail, 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 snails everywhere. And in city news, there appears to be a squirrel overpopulation problem which is causing an acorn shortage. And that's making for some angry squirrels. Breaking news, everyone. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you news of Hercules, the dog who just saved a kitten from a hornet's nest. Wait, what's that? From two hornet's nests. Morse, this is one brave dog. Yes, Melody, and that's why the city has given Hercules a lifetime supply of sausages. And a hero medal, which itself is a dog biscuit. I think we can all agree that Hercules is everyone's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Melody, on to less exciting news. Sinkholes are popping up around the world. No! What about Hercules? The bravest pet ever. I want him to rescue me. <laughs> I really don't see what the big deal is. <laughs> Jealous? Jealous? Jealous of what? <laughs> Sausages. Which you'll share with me when you become a hero dog, right? Yes, yes, of course. We'll see. Oh, you think I can't be a hero dog. Fine, I'll just cross you off my friends to give extra sausages to list. Please, I'm all about salmon. <sighs> <laughs> Salmon. Ah, yes. Wait, you see this, Mrs. L? I'll save you, squirrel. Oops, sorry. This neighborhood has really gone to the dogs. The dumb dogs. 
At least he thinks I'm a dog. I'm doing something right. Help! Help me, Washington! You're the only one who can save this damsel in distress. That's cute and all, but I need something bigger. Whatever shall we do? Help! Save us, Washington! Only you are hero enough! Thanks, girls, but I gotta find something that really needs saving. Lots of people around, and that nice old lady stranded in the middle of the street. Hero time! Washington! No! Oh! You okay, ma'am? Stay away from me, <gasps> mongrel! Oh, sorry about that. Let me help you clean these up. <laughs> Honey? You won't believe what just happened. Now, there aren't any even humans around to watch me. But I'm recently deceased. Help me, Washington. Uh, okay. Well, that was a bust. Wait, I've got it. Never mind. Huh? <gasps> Hero time! Arf! Arf! Woof! 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 Arf! Ahem. Arf! 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 Woof! 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 Huh? Arf! Oh! Sam! Sam! Look out for those! You! for pedestrians! Uh, oh, four wheels rule! Hero time! Yeah! <laughs> Get out of my way, youngster! <laughs> Oh, this is my chance! Hero time! And again, sinkholes appear around the country. Help! Huh? Washington, I'm stuck! <sighs> Not now. <laughs> Susie? You genie, you're geniuses! <gasps> yes! Wait, why? Because while I was ignoring you, I saw Alfie and Gracie, and you know what Alfie and Gracie are, right? <laughs> Human children! The most high value thing you can heroically save! Huh? Excuse me, I've got some hero work to do. <clears throat> I'm okay. <clears throat> Remind me again why we're taking their toys? Because, Sam, soon the kids will start looking for their toys. And then I'll be around to find them, and then I'll be the hero. Oh, now I get what you're trying to do. Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks. You're creating the danger by stealing the toys of two innocent little kids to fight <laughs> being a hero so you can get what you want. <laughs> Genius. Uh, wait. No, I... Uh... Ah! Our toys! I'm not so sure. <laughs> but I thought you were... <sighs> You're right, Sam. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. 
Yeah? What did I say? But what about the sausages? Yeah, well, we're gonna have to make do with our regular pet food and table scraps, Sam. What I was doing was <laughs> wrong. Wrong? But how could it be wrong? We're talking about sausages here. Ah, very funny. That's enough teasing out of you two for one day. Thank you very much. You. Ah! Ah! Eugenie! Susie! Ah! Washington, help! Eugenie! Susie! They're falling! Ah! Wow, really? You too, Sam? And I thought we were pals. You have to go and taunt me too? Man, I gotta help them! Those woodchucks always partying. I'm coming, buddies! It's over! Hang on, friends! Wash! Wash, good job! Where's my medal? Where are the journalists? Where are my fans? Look, Albie! <laughs> Our toy! <laughs> oh. Thanks, Thanks a lot, lot weird dog! dog. <laughs> 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 Breaking news live! Hello again, Jean-Francois! It's absolutely incredible! Of a toy rescuer dog. <laughs> the mayor is just about to give him the Medal of Courage for his outstanding behavior in this particularly troubled time. Congratulations, little dog. You are my hero. <laughs> well done, dog. And as a special reward, here is two tons of kibble. <laughs> Dinner time. This reward is great, honey, but couldn't they have at least packaged all this kibble? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret.
care of that. Now then, where did my dream leave off? Ah! Uh, this is not good. Ah! Come on, snap out of it. Hey! Look guys, don't worry about a thing. I'll take all the blame. Don't even try to talk me out of it. I simply insist. No, no. I'm telling you, I can handle it. Really. My very first sculpture in just one class. Can you believe it? Uh, no, I really can't. I'll just set it here to dry. It really reflects my inner feelings about the basic human condition. Who knew there was an artist inside of me just waiting to blossom? Uh, I love it, honey. It's really like, like, uh, like art. <laughs> oh. Washington, did you do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was my grandmother's face. <laughs> oh, honey, look at his face. He didn't mean to break it. You know how clumsy dogs are. <laughs> You're right. My grandmother didn't even like that vase very much. And I didn't really like my grandmother. Me neither. Well, I think Washington has learned his lesson. Right, Washington? He's really sad. Oh. Aw, okay, Wash. We should be going. Our dinner reservations are for seven. What time is it now? Uh, 6.59 and 18 seconds. <laughs> Yeah! Thanks for taking the blame, Washington. There's no way I could handle so much shaming. Whoa, you're a master. Let me try. Uh, uh, I can't do it. I can't do that pain face you do. Well, I hope this is a lesson learned. One, I'm an excellent actor, and two, you guys really <laughs> should <don't. laughs> Hey, did you not hear what I just said? I will not cover for you again. You've got nothing to worry about, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> Could you please watch out? If anything happens to this thing, the Living Stones will blame me for it, and my sad face trick will only work once. <laughs> already so I can get back to my beauty sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna get you! Hey, that's enough! Hey, listen to me! Come on, hey! What? That's not enough. I need them to be quiet once and for all. that happened? Huh? What? What happened? Something broke? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's with Washington? They're going to think he did it. Oh, Ray, why? Because they are. to fix this! Ah! We? Yes, we! Come on! All right, all right. I think I remember what it looked like. Let me try this. Well, well, well. Not bad. Not bad at all, if I may say so. What is it? Mrs. L statue. The one she brought in. It looked just like that. The one she loves so much? <clears throat> yeah, that one. The one she's so proud of? The one that makes her so happy? Yes, yes. No? It didn't look like that. At all. You're right. Who am I kidding? This looks like it was put together in a blender. I think I can fix this. Done! That's worse. It looks like nothing at all. Let me try. Longing for the days of his youth. Wait, what are we doing? What about the statue? Oh no, they're back! Ah! Wait, everybody calm down! Panic is not the answer! Panic is never the answer! Ah! Well, thanks guys. Looks like I'm in really big trouble. Not a second to lose! Right here! Okay! Uh, some wings? Uh, no head! A bit like this! <gasps> Look, hon! They love my sculpture! Mm? It almost looks like they're worshipping it! <laughs> Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. saw me. That was a close call. Yeah. Oh, diary. I hope you had a nice nap. Because I have a lot of secrets to put in you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't tell Fluffy everything. Like how Washington drives me wild. Flying that high? She likes to peek into other birds' nests. She gets decorating tips. Ah, uh, girls. <laughs> Ouch! Huh? It better be a joke book. Well, it's got a bunch of funny pictures. Let me see. Oh. Oh. You were supposed to keep an eye on Washington and Sam. Quick, go make sure they haven't destroyed our pet nest. <laughs> Wait! Huh? Wait, Washington! Uh, oh, hey, Nugget. I saw you earlier in the yard. <laughs> huh? You saw me earlier in the... Mm -hmm. Hold on. What do you mean? Don't play innocent with me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nugget, you're not gonna tell anyone, are you? Oh, yes. Of course. I want the entire world to know. <laughs> no, please. You can't do that. Really? Oh, yeah, of course, you're right. Because I'm a cat and you're a... Please, Nugget, this has to remain just between us. A secret. Our little secret. I'll do whatever you want. Oh, all I really want is to hang out with you, Washington. No. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, cool. A friend with me. <laughs> so 
So, you've been having fun with your new buddy, Nugget, huh? While I was all alone, talking about my favorite shows with myself. No, oh, Sam, you don't understand. I understand she's your fancy new friend and I'm just a wild boar from the woods. No, no, I had no choice. No choice. <laughs> she knows our little secret. <laughs> what? And if I don't do what she wants, she's going to tell everyone I'm a fox. And if that happens, we're all doomed. Yeah, but I don't want to leave TV. Hey, Sam, what about the elves? Them too. Goodbye, elves. I love you, TV. Sam, just chill. Go play with Eugenie and Susie and pretend like you don't know a thing. Okay. I mean it. They'll get all freaked out. Washington, <laughs> you coming? <sighs> Gotta go. Oh, diary! I have so much to say today! Huh? Where is it? Diary! Where are you? Oh, diary! How could you have gotten lost? What are you looking at? A picture book. A hilarious picture book. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. The fat cat and that weird looking dog with the hearts all around him. <laughs> it almost looks like Washington. And that cat. She looks familiar too. Yeah. My head hurts. Too much thinking. I gotta find Wash. <laughs> Nugget, why are you crying? It's nothing I've done, right? I lost my diary! Your what? <laughs> my diary! It's where I write all my secrets. <sighs> huh? All your secrets? Does that mean our little secret? Yes, especially our little secret. <gasps> <gasps> We gotta find it! But I've looked everywhere. What am I gonna do? Without my diary, it's gonna be impossible not to tell Fluffy! No, no! No! No, no! <laughs> I'm sorry, Washington. I'm very expressive. The vet said so. Can't you just express yourself silently? I would, Washington. But a lot of times my mouth doesn't even check with me before I say stuff. I can't help myself. I'm terrible at keeping secrets from her without it. If I can't, I might as well tell the world! No, 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 don't do that. We don't want the world to find out. Listen, I guess maybe you just go ahead and tell Fluffy everything. Don't you mean we? Oh, right, we. I knew you'd understand. <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> yeah. Hey, Wash! Sam, I don't have a second to lose! We have to go tell her sister our little secret! What? Why? Because she lost her diary! Diary? The book where she writes all her secrets! She says without it, she has to express herself yeah. by blabbing about me to Fluffy! Otherwise, she'll tell the whole world! Yeah. Diary? Nugget? Ooh! <laughs> that diary thing you're reading, whose is it? Nuggets, of course. Yeah? Yeah, it's her diary. That's why it's so funny. Nugget's diary? I need that diary right now! Yeah, right. Check back next week. Give it to me! I need it! <gasps> no way! I'm not done yet! I want to see how it ends! Sorry, but it'll end bad for all of us if I don't get this diary back! Sam, look, buddy. Not now. I... Is this Nugget's diary? Nothing about... Nothing about my costume in here? 
<laughs> so that means... She never saw you out of your costume. <laughs> oh. I saw you earlier in the yard. <laughs> The only thing she saw was you, waving to her. At least she thought you were waving to her. Phew. Hello, Addington. You coming? We gotta do what we gotta do. Time to wake her up and spill the beans. Wait, uh... Nugget, it's always gonna be complicated between us. Let's be realistic. You're a cat. Meow, meow. I'm a dog. Woof, woof. Your sister is always going to be an obstacle between us. <laughs> I know, it's tragic, but also tragically romantic. And no matter what happens, we'll always have our little secret. <sighs> oh, Washington, you drive me. Wild. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. <laughs> hey! Could you please watch out? Oops! Sorry, Vic! <laughs> oh, pff, kids. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. It's only temporary. They're just putting it up for the kids' birthday party today. Oh, yeah, right. I'd forgotten. Phew. <laughs> They've got a lot of kids coming over. to be the one being chased and able to fly away. And why did they put that thing here? Probably to keep out the pesky neighbors. You can't catch me! <laughs> we'll see about that! <laughs> Ooh, I love this stuff. of other fun things you can do. Really? What, for example? Well, uh... It's so unfair. I just want to see the party. I can't see. I can't see. Whoa! It's awesome. If only you could see this. Huh? Balloons! And this makes 
mixture, after combustion, produces a great quantity of hot gases that are subsequently fired into the jet engine fuel compressor. Documentary is very realistic. Eugenie! The moon! She's flying away! We've got to catch her! Yes! <sighs> it should be more quiet in the garden. Oh. Eugenie! We've got to follow her! We're gonna do just like Eugenie! <laughs> Are we supposed to be flying now? This isn't working. Susie, you follow her. We can't let her out of our sight. moment. <laughs> Since mere balloons aren't enough, we're going to become balloons. <laughs> hey, that tickles. Steer these things! Hey! Yeah. This works! Sam, just start swimming! <laughs> Excuse me, my fellow mammal, but you wouldn't have seen a cute little piggy, or, uh, I mean, a rabbit floating by, would you? Come on, guys, there's more flying stuff! Huh? <laughs> ah! Ah! What 
What's wrong with him? You think he'd never seen a flying pig before? Uh -huh. <laughs> Gotta find you, Genie. Where did she go? There, look. Uh, excuse me, but have you seen a? Uh... Excuse me. Uh... That was rude, but also helpful. Look, mm -hmm. it's Eugenie. <laughs> uh oh, I don't like the sound of that. to get home. Eugenie, hang on. <laughs> How do you break with these things? here. And look how cute they all are, cuddling each other. Guys, please, remind me to never ever fly again. <laughs> 